Ram. Udo Abu L. Here just to clear up this madness that went down yesterday with you guys' brother, you guys' brother, Lord Abba, right? Um, um, Way L. One thing that I have to put on the record since I got cut off because people like to use mute buttons, you know, um, take charge of situations, right? Because they have no power. You know, when I say no power, I mean unofficial as far as Morris Science Temple is concerned. Because I heard him mention that he has a Grand Sheik and an assistant Grand Sheik. I want you to put those people's names on the record. If you are a Sheik of a temple and you have a Grand Sheik and an assistant Grand Sheik, you better say their names. So, for example, Divine Minister that put me through the Adip Chamber, Ken Ube, you know him. He's in Mecca, in Chicago. You know him. I know you know him, right? Uh, National Grand Sheik, Dawid Ali L, right? I know you know who he is too, okay? I'm, I'm in conversation with Grand Major Temple, so don't think that we don't honor Bailey Eel because of, you know, people having beef and crap like that. I talk to Bailey Eel person, right? And he's the oldest Moor in the Moorish movement, right? So forget what people got issues with him or whatever. He's the oldest more in the Moorish movement that has the closest tie to the prophet than anybody. Nobody else could make no claim other than him as far as authority is concerned because he's the oldest. He's been the closest to the prophet than anybody. Right? And if that's Grand Major Temple, this guy Lord Abba, because I heard him talking about, um, you know, when they have the people, when he has his friends call into the show because. What these agents do, right, is these agents set up their little show, right? They never invite people on there who they got issues with. They just use their little show to try to, you know, um, um, amplify their squeaking to get people's attention. But we're going to show you something with regard to attention, okay? Right? Attention getting people, right? Since people like to follow agents and dirty moors we told people that we give them the olive branch called in on the show gave the brother the olive branch he didn't want it so shimitar simple nanya shabu l he when he got arrested he called me we put it on the record you not refute nothing never put out anything after that shut the hell up why because he's a fraud agent shut the hell up ali muhammad another one now he's riding sabir bay's coattails for props because of what Kujo put on his ass with the fraud that he's running. Because we told all these dirty moors that we're giving you guys olive branch. And as far as I'm concerned, because I'm speaking for myself, I'm not speaking for anybody else. Right? But I study Noble Juali. And I know what these dirty bastards did to him. I know what they did to him. It's in his own stuff what they did to him. And they're still around today doing the same stuff. And people want to be liking their stuff on Facebook and sharing their stuff and talk about, yeah, we want unity with dirty Moors, right? And, and, and talk about infighting within the Moors. Why is there infighting in the Moors? Why? Because, like all the other nations that have traitors, right? They put them on the wall and they stone them to death. They don't stay around. They don't put them in prison. When there's dirty people, when there's treasonous, traitorous people that have no authority, claiming to have authority, no different than this U.S. that he's backing. Because remember, he's backing the laws of the United States. Go listen to all this stuff. He's not backing no Moors. He's an agent for the U.S. Corporation. That's why he doesn't have any authority as a Moor. Ask him where his warrant of authority is to be a study group. That he said when he was doing the questions, he himself said, I was a study group. What did we do? We just formed a study group, and when you form a study group, then you exercise. That's not how it goes down in the Moral Science Temple. If you're saying that you're sheik and all that, somebody got to give you authority. So that's why we're saying, put your grand sheik and your assistant grand sheik on the record so we can verify with them that you're really a sheik. As well, if you are a sheik, 
that means you're paying dues. So put your dues card for that temple that you belong to on the record as well. So we can check to make sure that you're paying your dues to even see if you're credible. Because credible moors pay their dues. They don't play around with not paying dues and moving from state to state so you could escape dues from temples that you join. And then when they put you in line that you don't got no authority, you leave them and go start up your own stuff to try to pretend like you got some authority. Dirty moors. And their purpose, their sole purpose, is to divert people's attention. How do they divert people's attention? By letting dumb people, incompetent people who don't study, right, who calling in on shows, stuttering, to talk about they've been Moors for three years, and calling in and say, I'm not a Moor yet. And then realize that you play to yourself because you don't study, and then correcting yourself. And based on your voice, that individual is probably about 50 years old, and he's talking about I'm not a Moor yet. This guy has his uncle or something calling in on, on shows. Try to look like he got some some show going on. People calling in. People from Nevada. People from Washington calling into this guy's show. We're gonna clear up some stuff. Because the whole the whole escapade was about sovereign citizen morals. And he mentioned Taj Tariq Bay. Right? And throughout the show, he mentioned Sabir Bay as well. He mentioned nature. He mentioned myself. Right? We're all people who, we talk to each other. He doesn't talk to nobody of us that know each other. So that should tell you something. How come nobody that he's talking about talks to him? Are people thinking or are they just going with stuff because they feel like going with stuff? Right? Brought up. So another person called in. What is the route to connect? To, to connect my status back. And then he goes into this, you know, rambling on, right? This is the caller going into this rambling on about, yeah, I've been following you for so long since the ALI days or whatever. And people just look at that and, you know, it just blows over their head because, you know, nobody doesn't know what the hell ALI is. Well, that's Aboriginal Law Institute. That's the fraud with the Marrakesh people that he was down with back then, right? Which, which was, those were the supreme sovereign citizen morals the marrakush people but he's not bringing them up somebody's going to bring them up on his show and he's not going to stop just like he stopped the brother when the brother said oh i'm not a more yet and he was going to try to correct the brother and the brother corrected himself and had to tell lord abba you don't have to tell me that i'm not a more i corrected myself same way he should have cut the stuff right and told that individual hold on a second that ALI that you're talking about, I have no affiliations with that stuff. He just, you know, brushed that off like that ain't nothing. Those guys are fraud. Those guys changed from Aboriginal Law Firm, right, to Aboriginal Law Institute, to Marrakush, because they were package sellers, selling people packages, and get backed up, jerking so much people around that they have to change their name to something else. And this is why I thought, so-called Lord Abba Way L was cool and asked him to do a track because he jumped off that fraud that those guys were running over there and he started bashing them. I'm like, okay, I can get down with this more because he sees what's going on, what this is about. Lo and behold, turned out to be still the same fraud, just in a disguise now. Start up his own stuff, right? Has his morsciencetemple.org right and then he has the u.s banner on the left and the moroccan flag on the right now in the temple that's not what the structure is in the temple if you're more science temple of america the moroccan flag the moorish flag is on the left and the stars and stripes is on the right that's a demonstration not what he has on his website saying that he's more science temple of america for the third week bringing up again not because you know the quote grand sheik nature who he called out you know what i mean honors to the noble grand sheik nature obey always teaching civics and making sure that we have law dictionaries and etymology dictionaries and making sure that we study and not take any word for what he says make sure we go study what he says and verify it and if we find something that's not right, make sure we come back to him and correct him on what he said or taught. 
We don't follow no goddamn body. So this guy has more science temple on his website, Crescent and Star, and has the flags backward, talking about he's some authority. And people are backing this clown just because? Just because what? Just because what? He's dirty more. No different than people crying about, you know, why are you making pictures with Given Zell? What do you mean, why? More dirty. What do you mean jump in the prophet's seat and say that he's now the prophet, follow him? What are you talking about? You're going to go with that? Kirkman Bay. Nobody really said, don't mark your fez. Kirkman Bay parading around with, with marked fez or whatever. And nobody's not saying that that's the issue, but oh yeah, you know, Kujo says something wrong, violating Act 3, yeah, violating Act 4, and violating everything. When these guys are following all the supreme violators, and nobody's not recognizing that because nobody's reading the FBI papers to know who these frauds are. Nobody's not going to go and take a, 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 a 50 bucks, 30 bucks, go and scrib, the shit is free, and go read the Mukarabin files, and go see all these dirty moors names that are in there. All these dirty moors who file paper to copyright the handshake, copyright the crescent and star, copyright the word Quran, copyright the word Moorish science temple, copyright that stuff. Why are they doing that for? Why are they copywriting something that Noble Jewali didn't copyright? Because they want to steal your stuff from you. No different than Lord Allah is trying to steal your consciousness from you to give himself power. Because don't get it twisted. Right? If they're not on the side of Noble Jewali, these individuals belong to the dark priesthood. That's why they're able. That's why they're able to cloak themselves from getting their face busted in from people for all this fraud that they're running. They're talking about people following Taj teaching and getting locked up. No, that's an incompetent jackass. That's why they got locked up. That's a greedy more. That's why they got locked up. Don't blame the messenger. Leave the messenger alone. That's an elder. There's, there's Dirtier people, as if we're going to talk about dirty moors and people doing dirty stuff, there's way dirtier people than Taj. And you bringing him up? And that's master teacher to some people? Like real master teacher, not some fake ass master teacher like you guys have with whoever you say gave you authority? Real master teacher. Where we stand up for certain stuff when people start talking crap. Because you're talking crap. You're a liar. Because there's no such thing as Taj Tariq Bay teachings. How come, you, how come you never mention Annie Edel's name in, in, in the stuff? She, she, she studies that information. She had, she had personal conversations with Taj. How come you don't have Sister Raz's name up on there? How come? Because you know the sisters will tear your new ass. That's why. That's why you're not going at them. You don't go at the brothers. You're going to go at the sons, but you're not going to go at the mothers, though, who are, who are in alignment with the sons that you're dissing. How come you don't call them up? I dare you call them out. Call, call Sister Anita's name. Call her. Call Raz's name. How about call Ms. Raheem's name? Huh? Call them people. How about call a seer? Call a seer's name. You only pick certain people's name to call. Right? Why? Because you have an agenda. And I know you have an agenda. Me and Jabbar build, bro. We build. Right? And you've been crossing lines. And nobody never pull you up. People want to pull you up, but people are stopping people from pulling you up because they don't want to pull you up how, you, how Kuto is pulling you up. Right? There's not no threat in there. Oh, and more are threatening me. Don't even go there. You're in supreme violation. You have no authority as a more science temple anything. Zero authority. Zero. Saying this name out your mouth, like you got some authority. You can't even prove a dues card. If this stuff is so fake and this stuff is so so, you know, or oh, you study the teachings of Taj Tariq Bay, you get locked up. Oh really? Oh yeah. Okay, let's go to the record. Since you since your your favorite quote for the whole freaking thing is um your favorite quote is, um, produce your evidence. We'll prove, produce some evidence. Shut you the hell up with your big mouth. 
with your freaking shovel that you keep digging this damn hole that you've been digging you don't want to stop digging and humble yourself and just admit that you have no authority humble yourself and get under some warrant find me an elder that rates you find me one more give me a more's name because you don't like to call people's name people call into the show they send you an email well i don't want to say their name why don't you say their name put their put, put their name out there put their appellation out there whatever you want to call it why don't you call them say their name Anytime people send um, emails to Canaan Land Moors asking questions, we put their name out there so people know that there's Moors asking this question. Not expose nobody. Because people need to know that there's Moors out there that's emailing that question. But nah, you're not going to say anybody's name. Keep everybody hidden. Right? People calling in, bashing paperwork. Oh, the paperwork didn't work. Paperwork didn't work because that's an incompetent jackass. That's why the paperwork didn't work. That's why. Right? Because only an idiot, only an idiot who's not studying is going to hear Taj Tariq Bey talk and go out there and try something that he said in a video. You're a jackass if you do that. And that doesn't fall on the person that said something. That falls on you for being incompetent. Because Noble Joali told you study, study, study. And me and Seth and Ra are joking about we need to stop saying study, study, study and just tell more study. Because they can't even get through second study and a third study. Which brings up the other point of the DMV video with Taj when he's talking about endorsing the DMV. And Lord Abba, the clown, is making it seem like, well, you know, he's proving, you know, that he was wrong by teaching you about avoiding the license all the time before. No. He's telling you to, you better get a license and you better pay your plate whatever and all that stuff because people are incompetent because he's been talking to Morris for 30 years and Morris is still asking questions that are childish you're asking childish questions you're not asking about claiming nothing you want to know what a word means you travel all the way here to ask the question to ask the question and your question is what a word means right why? Because people are incompetent and they don't study. And then they want to blame the people who, have, who are giving them the information. When Taj himself told me personally, don't follow me. Don't follow me. He told me that personally. I had personal conversation with him. And Taj Tariq Bey personally told me don't follow him. So for this clown to come and talk about Taj Tariq Bey's teachings like it's his stuff, it's not his stuff. It's not his. It's universal information accessible to anybody that reads and studies. And if you don't read and study, then you're not going to have any idea of this universal information that's sitting there waiting for you to discover it. Because you're listening to clowns like Lord Abba. So remember we talked about put, produce your evidence. Let's produce some evidence right now. To show people how this crap, right, these Taj Tariq Bay teaching don't work. Okay? So here's the, here's all the tickets. These were all the tickets, just so you know. This is their transcript. All right? This is all their tickets. That they try to put on me when I had my own plates because I was exercising my right to travel. Forget a license. A license is a privilege. Forget a license. The only reason Taj endorsed the DMV is because people are not studying. And yes, they're going to get injured because they're not studying. They think this is some kind of joke. They think they're just going to go out there and say that they're Moors, right? When everybody knows what the hell is, is going on in this Moorish movement, but people who don't, know, who don't read the FBI papers. To know that there's an issue with leadership. Telling people about go pay tickets and go pay fines and go pay taxes. And they're Moorish American. And then tell people that they're violating the law when they don't pay taxes. <laughs> These are the jackasses that you guys are listening to, huh? Right? So I hope you all read them, right? These were all the tickets that I got. Okay? These were all the tickets. All right.
that was the case and what they do they threw out everything except insurance they threw out everything except insurance okay and the, and the, right, no, remember we're talking about you know show your evidence okay so here's the judgment right here's the judgment 2010 August 26, amount 25,000, right? Keep in mind that insurance out here is tickets, not jail time like the U.S. Corporation. In Canada Corporation, fines is what they deal with. They don't deal with jail time. The prosecutor was pushing for jail time, and the judge was like, no, we're not giving him jail time. How, why are they not giving jail time for it? How come they're not giving jail time? right and i know i know just 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 because i know people are gonna talk crap right let's just put this on the record you can see that the all caps name right there okay right now remember this is the this is the this is the stuff right okay and just see you can see right there that it says kudrado l right x relation and then they don't put the name in all caps okay so they know exactly what the hell they're doing when moors do stuff so don't listen to this clown talking about, you know, people go to court and people are calling in and somebody was in the court, but we're not going to give his name, right? And that guy saw somebody talk the same stuff that Taj says in a video. That's bullshit. That person who was up in there, they weren't studying. They looked at the Moorish movement and the, and the putting your status on the record in court as some loophole to get out of whatever bullshit that they got themselves into before they were Moors. Because I could guarantee you that whatever he was in there fighting wasn't because he got hit as a moor. That's been a moor for, you know, years. He's somebody who trying stuff like, like all these other incompetent people, right? Instead of humbling themselves, having eureka moments, and don't make nothing yet. Because that's your first eureka moment. You don't make something on your first eureka moment. You don't get the inspiration and do it immediately. You digest it first. Because if you don't digest it, you're going to be trying to exercise the Eureka moment and have a Eureka moment and then miss it. And then because you missed it, then you know you get karma for that because the Eureka moment is sent by the Creator for That's inspiration from the Most High. Why? Because you put in the work of study. And that's your payback, the Eureka moment. People don't have Eureka moments, but they want to go out and try stuff. And want to know how come they got kidnapped, how come they got arrested, how come they took my stuff. How, because you're incompetent, that's why they took your stuff. They didn't take your stuff because they're against what you're doing. They took your stuff because you thought you were smart, you dumbass, doing stuff you shouldn't be doing. When you know you're not ready. And man told you, don't follow me. Make sure you go study. You know, no withdrawal told you study. And all that stuff. Right? But people follow these clowns. Okay? It's very clear. There's no such thing as sovereign citizen moral. Go check the record, the YouTube record, before this guy did his thing, that we did a class called Fraud Knows Fraud Best. We are not sovereign citizens. You're not going to bring that up on your show. You're not going to talk that we already dealt with this bullshit already. That we're not sovereign citizens. And now a more is coming to try to tie us to sovereign citizens. When we already showed the breakdown that sovereign citizens is hillbilly sovereign BS that we don't deal with. We showed, we showed people, right? We, we got to go on the record again. Right? We showed people. All the damn tapes that these guys are selling, $250 for a goddamn cassette. Not DVD, cassette. Some sovereign crap. Told people that we're not affiliated with that. All the active Moors are not affiliated with the sovereign citizen, whatever. What does this punk bitch Moor do? Right? Some, some freaking um, Jewish website bashing stuff he sides with them and he's using their information to prove that Taj is a fraud you tell me that's not a goddamn agent he's using the Jewish people 
the Jesuit stuff, the clanmen stuff, as as proof that Taj is a fraud. And you guys hang with this guy, like his stuff, pretend like he's doing something for people and for the Moorish movement and all that. When he's selling out his brothers, mm -hmm. you know what? You, you, do you know he, he's making he's making active Moors be terrorists when he says that we're sovereign citizens? Do you know that that's the label that he's putting on you? You don't worry about. I'm who just talking up for myself. I'm talking for myself. An active Moor. Other Moors, if you know that you're active, and this Moor is trying to tie you and your master teacher to sovereign citizen, and you can go check Homeland Security stuff and see that sovereign citizen is listed as a terrorist and he's trying to tie you to that because you study law and you got black law dictionaries that nigga is dirty and his job and his duty because believe me believe me Moors took that brother by the wing, sat him down and tried to talk to him, and he doesn't want to hear anything that nobody's saying. Even sincere Moors like that, who are going to take him like one on one, like sit him down, talk to him. He doesn't want to hear that. He wants to be the supreme grand sheikh of some Moorish science temple that doesn't exist. Speaking about that, for everybody who, just so you know, because you probably missed it. Because, you know, people don't watch Canaan Land class because, you know, it's two hours, you know, it's too long or whatever, you know. So, honors to all the Moors that hold truth to supporting Canaan Land Moors classes, right? And sitting through the two hours, reading and all that stuff, right? Because we know it's tiresome. But we're Moors. Studying ain't nothing for us. We do study. So, honors to all you Moors, right? There's a Moor out here. We put it on the record. Nobody's never even, you know, it just, people just didn't care, right? Put it on the record. This is a year ago. Moore was trying to start a temple in Canada. He had a Moore here, Lord Abba, that he was talking to about being the grand sheep of a temple here. And then I bumped into the Moore, and the Moore told me about it. And he is telling me, that, you know, it just seemed kind of odd that he wants to start a temple here when there's a temple here already. That This is the more who he was trying to connect with. To undermine what we're doing here, to start a temple here, when he's in Atlanta, and he can't even start a temple there. But he's going to come here and start something. And these guys have, you know, shows and whatever like that, parading around like they got some authority. Talking about no more group teachers, you know, all caps, birth certificate, only sovereign citizen Europeans do that. Sovereign citizen Europeans learn from Moors, jackass. Where they learn that from? Who you think taught them that stuff? You think they don't know that the Negro is the first straw man? Why do you think they don't talk about Negro black colleagues in their European sovereign citizen demonstration? With Negroes in there. Because they're going to have to bring up the Moors. That taught them. How we know that? Go talk, go look at, at Peter Lam Lamborn. What Peter Lamborn studying? He was he was sovereign. And he found about Nobu Juali and started exercising that. That's not for those sovereign citizens guys, God. And what did they do? Just like these dirty Moors did. Splinter off or whatever, call themselves something else and try to disconnect from the fact that he's the founder of their stuff, the sovereign citizen stuff. A European who was propagating what Noble Juali pushed. For Europeans, he took that position of, you know, let's follow the prophet. A European. But he's not going to go at him and talk about, you know, he has the teachings or whatever, right? Why? Why not? They had passports. They were dealing with civics as Europeans, right? The Moorish League had passports. These are Europeans. That had passports. And they were they were exercising what Noble Juali presented with passports. And people are calling into shows talking about their nationality card didn't work and police didn't accept it as whatever. 
your damn idiot. Damn fool. Because you're incompetent. And as soon as you have to call in and ask questions, unfortunately, we have to put it out there like this. But if you're calling in and asking goddamn stupid ass questions about how do I get kidnapped? And why do I not get kidnapped? Y'all y'all talking like nature never got kidnapped before. Like Taj never got kidnapped before. Right? Like y'all going on like like we're holier than thou. There's not no holier than thou going on. We're studious mores. Forget all that crap you guys talking about scholastic and all that. Forget all that bullshit there. Just, just, just get some law dictionary. He's sitting there on the show and he's looking up stuff in Black's Law Fifth Dictionary. That ain't got nothing in it. You got Fifth Dictionary. You call yourself chic. You got one dictionary that you use. You have one dictionary, and it's not even like a Black's Law one. You have a Black's Law Fifth Edition, trying to tell people about filing notices for school because of religious whatever. And nobody can stop religious what you better shut the hell up with your crap, huh? Because you have no authority to be talking about anything about filing any any notices to any school board for anybody if you're saying under more science temple, because you got no authority. How we know you got no authority? Let's go again. People not paying attention to stuff. When these asses just have a shovel in their hand, you know, a big hole in front of them. And nobody's not asking no questions. The hole's for you if, if he's not going in it. Now you have a choice to make. Because believe me, all these moors, all those naturalizing moors, right? You see how hard they're going right now? Right? Only because Kudro pulled their goddamn coattails. And then the, then, then the right after that, on the blog talk show, without talking or anything, you know, because spirit just moves, right? Eyes wide open, same thing. Beat up on that naturalization crap that these guys are talking about. You have to naturalize in your own land. You're a goddamn fool. You're going to naturalize in your own land and be a foreigner in your own land and say you're more. And let these people with their stupid historical BS, when there's active mores showing you stuff that's working right now, and you don't want to do that. You want to call in the shows, talk about why is there, why you stop getting kidnapped and shit like that. Because your ass doesn't study, that's why. So humble yourself, stop going out and trying stuff, right? Noble Drawley said, don't throw away the straw name. Why? Because your ass has to study. So you better learn to be straw and continue being straw until you get the eureka moment. And humble yourself. New mores coming into this. Where people say new mores and, you know what I mean, like new mores aren't studying civics. Get the hell out of here, bro. Talking shit. So they, so we showed you the proof that, you know, they made a claim. 25,000. Right? They made a claim. Okay? Offense date, conviction date, all that. Right? But recognize plate number, there's nothing there. How come there's nothing there for plate number? Oh, because I didn't have no goddamn plates. That's why they threw the case, that's why they threw the plate the plate charge out. Because I don't have any goddamn Ontario plates. I'm indigenous to the land. I have my own stuff. Just to put it on the record too for these people that like to say stuff you know, working and why, why and why this and why that, right? Okay, there's one. There's one, right? Okay, Moorish National. Right? There's two. Okay? Right? And it's not plastic. Right? This is the stuff right here. Okay? So that's what I had. Exercising birthrights. That people say is not working. What they do? What they do? They use their little policy enforcer or whatever to stop the movement. Why? Because. The movement that Moors deal with mm -hmm. is waking up people. All right? One more thing. All right? 25,000. Remember, this is 2010. Where are we at now? 2014, right? Okay. 
right? This is where stuff stuff not working, right? Oh yeah, and don't forget, right? Another one, okay? Because it's a fiat game out here, okay? Now, this one is for driving while under suspension. Now, how are you getting a driving while under suspension fine when you guys threw out the driving without a license ticket? There's something wrong with that, right? So, after they, you know, did the case and all that stuff, right? After they did their little BS trial and all that stuff in their fraudulent quasi court that they call the quasi court, right? And then everybody's saying, ah ha ha, you got your stuff. The more stuff doesn't work because you still got fined twenty five thousand and blah blah blah. Right? Remember, two thousand and ten right now. Okay. When this went down, we're talking about two thousand and ten right now. Okay. So when they sent their little uh, thing for 25000 and 1000 for fines or whatever, sent them a request for itemized bill. Claim of right. You know, because as a more, I have a right to, if you're charging me for something, give me a bill. A, a real bill, not, not a statement of account. Right? So we're just going to read the writ. So that people can see and hear how Moors the study the Taj and whatever talk and beat shit up. Because law is specific and law is not by some guy that says impropriate persona and shadow and teaches about all caps letters on licenses and to give up licenses. That's not his stuff. The information is universal. Anybody could find that stuff out. Let well, these people try to fool you that you can't find this out. All you have to do is study. Humble yourself and go study. Forget about Facebook. Take off Facebook for a week and go study. Right? Do that. I bet you not get a, I bet you they, they stop stopping you and messing you when you start showing your your um what you what they what they call it um um their card that they got from Taj site RV Bay publication. That's not Taj site. RV stands for Rasmariah, V Bay, publications. What the hell does that have to do with Taj Tui Bay? Right? But they'll never call out Sister Raz, though. He'll never mention her name. Never. Why? Because a punk, that's why. Right? Going after, going after, right? You're not going to go after God. Right? You're going to go after God's son. Because you're a punk. Why don't you go after God? Right? Just like the, just like the dragon. Right? You're not going to eat the mom while she's pregnant. You wait for the pregnant, wait for it to deliver and then eat the child and torment the mom. Why don't you just eat the mom? If you're so bad, demon. Huh? Lord Abba, Way L, Neb, whatever else your name is, right? All these switch name people. You guys had 50 goddamn names in 10 years. Why? Because they used to be package sellers and frauds under other names. And they had to come with a new name. Request for itemized bill. Two, Ontario Court of Justice. Councillor Raymond Cho, Minister of National Revenue, Honorable Keith Ashfield, Governor General of Canada, Honorable David Johnston. Date, February 9th, 2012. Good day. I am Kujo Aro L. Ex relation. In propria persona, not pro se. To juris, in full life, non-resident alien, domiciled in Scarborough, Ontario, on Scarborough County, Ontario Territory, United States of America Republic. For the record, I am not the corporation or legal fiction, a quasi-artificial person or corporate person created by the Crown of Canada through the Registrar General after my birth through a fraudulent adhesion contract disguised as registered registering of birth. I received your notice in the amount of $25,005 and $1,130 debt notes in the name of the straw, which is clearly, which is clearly, remember this is what they got, okay? <clears throat> mm. 
which is clearly denationalization, clearly denationalization, misrepresentation, misprison, fraud, and a violation of Section 380, 381, and 405 under the Criminal Code of Canada. I, Kudro L, has sincere intentions to satisfy any contracted debt once the below questions are answered truthfully and honestly in 15 days from a receipt of this writ. Please send me an itemized bill, which has been signed in blue ink by an officer agent representative of Toronto Court of Justice, showing the amount of money owing within 15 days of the date shown in this writ. Part 2, Section 16, Subsection 1 of the Bill of Exchange Act states, A bill of exchange is an unconditional order in writing, addressed by one person to another, signed by the person giving it, requiring the person to whom it is addressed to pay on demand or at a fixed or determinable future time a sum certain in the money or to the order of a specified person or to the bearer. Subsection 2 of the Bill of Exchange Act states, an instrument that does not comply with the requirements in subsection 1 or that orders any act to be done in addition to the payment of money is not except as herein after provided a bill. Since Ontario Court of Justice contacted me through the Crown's corporate person that I use for private necessity under fraud, threats, duress, and coercion, in your capacity, I am appointing and authorizing you, Ontario Court of Justice, the issuer of this notice of fine and due date, to come forth and prove your claim to authority in that capacity to provide answers to the following questions. Now we'll stop here for a second. Somebody called in about, you know, um, or he was given an example of, well, the guy went to court and then the guy came out to court and he said, oh my gosh, it doesn't look good in there. You know, he's trying that Taj Tariq Bay stuff and it's not working. Well, I'll be back. And then he went in there again and then heard the brother say some stuff. And then the brother just killed his whole argument and then went back, right? And then, you know, said that, well, you know, I'm going to have to go and console the mother because she doesn't know what to do. And then they said, call Taj. And Taj didn't answer. Yo, you hear these bastard liar, liars, liars. Because there's a reason why. If they did get in touch with Taj, that he said to her, call the FBI and file a complaint on the judge. Why? Why is he going to do that for? Why is he going to say that? Because Title 18, Section 141-142 states that people who dress up and like they have some authority, right, are running a fraud. And the only way that you are going to expose that fraud is to complain on them. And you're going to complain on the proper authority. And But they're not going to do that. They're going to complain about Taj never answered no call. And he never gave them no remedy. Like I said, Go check the record. I bet you that brother didn't go in there because of some more anything. He was Negro black colored, doing some Negro black colored stuff, and now heard about Moors trying to apply that to his Negro black colored action. It don't work like that. If you're a Negro when you did that stuff, <laughs> you better get out of your stuff you know, as a Negro or go study for yourself, right? Study for yourself. So when people send you crap in the mail or whatever like that, you don't have to go be running down Taj to call Taj to find out, how do I do this? Go study and find out how to do it. Because I've been at Taj number five, six years, and I do not call him. And I do not give his number out to people because I know people aren't going to study. You're just going to badger the poor man to death, calling him for freaking nothing, calling him for stupid stuff that you could look up in the law dictionary. Right? So this is not some somebody's teaching. The man tells people, do not follow me. Tells people that. Then they still follow him, then they're a jackass. Because the man said, don't follow me. Why are you following him for? Right? This is this is and remember, this is the evidence that we're putting on the table right now. Twenty-five thousand dollar fine. So then we go through the questions, you know, asking them for their, you know, delegation of authority, stuff that, you know, this guy's saying, the guy went in court, and then he asked the judge, you don't ask that on the court, you jackass. 
You can't embarrass the freaking fake ass magistrate who's pretending to be a judge in his jurisdiction. He's gonna slap you. Are you serious? You're going into somebody, you're gonna go into the, you, you're, you're about to get operation. And before they knock you out, you're telling the doctor about F you and whatever, you don't know what you're talking about. You're not no real doctor before they put you under. You're an idiot. Right? And then you come out with your nose on your chest, right? And your arm coming out your ear, and you're going to say that doctor did something bad to you. Don't blame no doctor. That was your dumbass going in there talking crap to the doctor before he put you down. When he's the one with the knife, going to go do the operation. Right? This is the game that these clowns play. So we're putting it we're, we're we're putting the evidence on the record that studying civics and applying it works if your spirit is right. If your spirit's not right, you're gonna be trying to be a more forever and it's never gonna work. And you're never gonna get off your child support, you're never gonna get off of them tickets, and then you're gonna be stuck in this thinking that this sucks and you need to but you don't want to go back to the Negro state. Because you kind of study a little, so you know better, but, but you don't want to humble yourself and go study some more. So you can figure this mess out for yourself. So it's real out here. Like it's real out here. And yeah, people getting locked up and stuff. Half of that, maybe even 80% of that, is just to convince people not to get down with this. 20% of that is those dumb people who are incompetent trying stuff when it's real out here people got jails and they could look what look what people look what they did to Lumumba look what they did to Huey look what they did to whoever you name them your so-called black whatever look what they did to them look what they did to Noble Drawley you think it's not you think it's a game out here they're just gonna you know oh Taj said so I'm just gonna you know because he sounds so smart. No, it's not that. Or well, people sounding smart. You know, sounding smart. You don't say uh, uh, Asians sound smart. You don't say Europeans sound smart. They talk a certain way that sounds smart to make you feel like whatever. You don't talk about that about other people. But you're applying that to this individual who's an elder. You need to shut your hell in your mouth about. Because, you know, some of us respect that elder. Right? So this is the personal to this punk, right? This more who, who's claiming to have authority that has no authority. Never did, never will. Because Moors don't even vouch for you. Dirty Moors don't even vouch for Lord Abba. How's Dirty Moors talking crap about him? That should tell you something. So please answer these questions, blah, 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 right? Okay. Please answer these questions. And there's the receipts that it was sent to him, right? Okay. All right. And also, what was sent to them was two $25 money orders with the name ransom written on it. Or the term ransom written on. Right? And where are they at? Come they stop sending letters. Come they stop sending letters. Why they stop sending letters? Twenty five thousand? They just throw that away? Though it doesn't matter about that. They go through all that. Right? But then when you check the record, you know, twenty five thousand is seven. That's why I sent them. Remember, check what they're saying, huh? Twenty-five thousand and five. So they know about the seven, and they know about the five principles. So they're telling me that they know what's up. So then, what I did to them, I sent them back. You know, seven, seven, twenty-five and twenty-five. So they know that we're talking the same language, and you know, hey, maybe that's what it was. Cause I ain't heard from them since two thousand four. And you know if you got fines, they send you letters to tell you keep paying. So for the people who say, you know, stuff don't work, why doesn't it work? 
you know, how come it's not working for you? Because you're a jackass, that's why. You're incompetent. You're an idiot. Go look that up in your law dictionary. See if something's in there. Right? But if you're playing around, it doesn't work. What do you mean it doesn't work? How doesn't it work? Right? Collection, once again. Right? Collection. Again, you know, these frauds coming and talking about, you know, sending some letter, putting a an amount on there, right? Just put an amount on it. Once again, check the numbers, right? Five, seven, okay? In four, twelve, right? Zodiac, okay? That the guy said, oh, it's a Zodiac. Nobody recognized that. Judge held that upset. What is this? Why? He's not no judge. He's a magistrate. Why is he going to admit that he knows about the Zodiac Constitution? If he admits that he knows about the Zodiac Constitution, then the case has to get thrown out. Because the Zodiac Constitution says they don't got no jurisdiction. Jackasses. But nobody doesn't listen to these people. And you haven't read the divine, the, the Zodiac Constitution to even know what's in there. But you're going to talk crap about people holding up Zodiac Constitution and, and denouncing it. When that Moore was an idiot for taking the divine, the, the Zodiac Constitution into the court. Are you taking the Zodiac Constitution into the court? That's not a court. That's an administrative building. That's not no court. Why they, why you? But, you know, once again, people don't study. This is what you get. Confusion. And then you have added on confusion with this jerk telling people foolishness. Yeah. Right? That Taj Bay has teaching. Taj Bay doesn't have no teaching. He studies just like anybody else who wants to know something. He doesn't have any teachings. There's not no Taj Street Bay teachings. <laughs> right? And like I'm saying, how come y'all not calling out Anita L? Because she, you know, the Taj Street Bay teaching. She studied that stuff, that Taj drop, that you're saying is his teaching. So how come you're not going at her? You know? You know you're punking out. Go after God. Don't go after the God, son. Man, you ought to make a name for yourself. If you want to make a name for yourself, you know what I mean? You're not going to go fight the lightweight. If you want to be the champ, heavyweight champion of the world, you know what I mean? Go to the gods. See you what know, they're saying. Challenge them to a debate. So, you know, you've been talking about, you know, Taj would never answer my debate. Why, why is he? You're an idiot. He knows you're an idiot. What are you debating you for? Stupid. Stupid guy. Right? Once again. So these guys, Arrow Incorporated, right, in Montreal, so 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 the Royal Bank of Canada sold a debt to some people in Montreal, and those guys were trying to collect. So we sent them a writ. Okay, There's, there they are, right there. Just so people can see, so you can't say that we didn't show the evidence. You know what I mean? You know, like, you know, like show the stuff, right? Sure. There they are. There's their address, right? Yeah. Arrow. All right. So you know who they are. Send them a writ of discovery. Who are you? You know, same thing. Where's the bill? Show me the bill. Signed in blue ink. All of a sudden, disappear. But then, get something else now from CBV. CBV collections now. This is different people. But well, hold on a second. They got different amount. How come they got 3,900? Right? They got 3,900, 3,693. You see the number, how, right? You think these people are playing games? The numbers. How's that a debt number? That sequence of numbers. Really? Threes and nines and sixes? And the other, remember, the other one was five something. But this is the same deck, same card. One of them's three thousand, one of them five thousand. Really? Those guys got sent their stuff. Same thing, right? What did they do? What did they do? They sent it to the new guy, and this is the one that the new guy sent. CCA, Commercial Credit Adjusters. Right, Royal Bank, and now the amount now is 57 52. Right, remember the numbers again. 
Okay? Think they don't know what the hell is up? When more sends stuff to them? Really? You really think it's a joke like that? You know what I mean? Allah doesn't work. Stop following whatever. Okay? So go challenge them. Go ask them. Right? Because somebody called in from Nevada asking about how do we build subordinate temples? Lord Abba said, you form into a study group. That's what I did. So who gave you that authority? Because, you know, warrant authority for a study group or, or a, a subordinate temple, because that's really what a study group is, is a subordinate temple, before it gets authorized or recognized with a warrant of authority to be a subordinate temple. Where is his warrant of authority at? Where is his charter? Where is this temple that he says that he's the head of? The Grand Chief. I mean, i seen him say that he's Supreme Grand Chief too. I know i seen him say that he's Supreme Grand Chief. So hold on a second. So he went from just being Lord Abba to being a Grand Chief to being a Supreme Grand Chief and then to being back to a sheep. What happened to the Supreme Grand Sheep title? You used to call yourself that. Were you not that no more? How come you're not that no more? Oh, more, more is who know what's up, pulled you up on that. That's why you stopped saying that you're Supreme Grand Sheep. So why you stop saying that you're Grand Sheep? Because, you know, you just stopped saying that you're sheep right now. But how are you a sheep and you have a temple? What? I'm confused. We need to know who your Grand Sheep is. We need to see your dues card. We need to see some things to verify that you say who you say you are because I don't think you are who you say you are seems like you're running a fraud out there right you have people in Nevada who can get the warrant of authority out there and you'll discuss the Pacifics off the air and you have no authority who's your grand sheep matter of fact who's your national grand sheep you have to have some type of authority of more that govern you. You're not just your own entity. Say you're more science temple, put something up and you're that. It doesn't work like that. You know, if you're being your sheep, you should know that. You know, but now this is um a question from Jabbar, since I talked to him, you know, he said that he wanted to ask you something. Since, you know, he don't answer his calls no more and stuff. So Jabbar wants you to call him and ask him or answer for him, why would you start a Moorish American party to address what the Moorish Science Temple of America was founded to address? He just wants you to answer that personally for him. You know, video, call him, whatever. But he wants to know if the Moorish Science Temple of America is the Moorish American Party, why do we need your crap for it? That's from Brother Jabbar. And as far as um, Moors, you know, who study the Taj Tariq Bay teaching and bash the temple, you're a goddamn liar. Because I just got back from Milwaukee, right? And the Moors in Milwaukee, they're pissed. You know why the Moors in Milwaukee are pissed? And I'm only bringing this up because to prove to people how much dirty Moors are out there. And not only the fact that there's dirty Moors out there, but there's some real good Moors out there who are trying to resurrect the temples to be what they're supposed to be. Not have them as these dogmatized boxes that people go into and get brainwashed nowadays. Right? We're setting the standard for what the temple is supposed to be doing. And it is supposed to be assisting in the uplifting act. It's supposed to be a, a national organization with a Rotarian complexion, which means humanity. And I don't hear anything coming out of Lord Abba's mouth that has to do with uplifting fallen humanity. All that he's bringing to the table is his stuff is the stuff everybody else has nothing but he has nothing to show we got a building out here in canaan land that we call the more science temple of america forget all you know 
these um online stuff that these that these fakers have. Show me something real, bro. Show me something real. Show me something that you got. Don't show me your crap books, two books that you wrote. Don't tell me about articles that you wrote online. Forget that. Show me a newspaper, buddy. Show me, show me somebody's children that you got out of some child services situation. Show me you in a newspaper from somebody else. Not your own stuff. Show me somebody else that recognized you for doing something with a picture or something. Just show some. Nothing to be seen. Why? Because all these guys are fraud. And we told more that we're extending the olive branch. And we're in the shimmer tire time. We're not playing around with dirty morals. Because it has to stop. And why hasn't it stopped? Because the good men sit down and watch evil men do evil things. And they just have to watch. Oh, well, that has nothing to do with me. I'm not going to waste energy on that because, you know what I mean, I got to keep my energy because I need my energy for but energy is abundant and anywhere in the universe you could you could get energy from the moon if you want. You go hug a tree and get energy if you feel like you don't got money. You can you can have, be having a shit day and you can see somebody on the bus with a child and that child laugh and you get some energy. Don't tell me nothing about wasting energy on kicking dirty more's asses. So somebody's gotta do it. So the only reason that they're around still is because people want to play friend friend game, Mr. Rogers and their musical chairs with Dirty Morris. Are you playing with them? Right? Can't play with them. Cannot play with them. You have to be very serious with these people. Have to be. Why? Because they're still they're selling out your birthright. Didn't I tell you, Active Moral, that this guy's trying to say that you guys are terrorists? Forget that he's calling Taj sovereign citizen. If you're a student of Taj, a student of, not a follower of, a student of, which means that you verify everything that he said. You take nothing that he says as face value. Nothing. Absolutely nothing that he says. Or anybody else. Nothing from RV Bay do you just take off RV Bay just because it's there and it's on RV Bay, so I'm going to take it. Research everything. Trust no one in these days and times. Trust no one. Verify everything. Don't take anything that anybody says for face value. Verify everything. And when you go verify stuff, you'll realize what's up and what's not up. Because I guarantee you, and I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Remember, I'm telling you, it's not done. Right? It's not done. I'm going to come back and do another show again. You know? But, you know, just like everybody else, you know, once I do the stuff, if you get the shimitar done, you ain't no talking no more. You're talking on your own. You're talking to people who want to, you know, you're going to get the Taj treatment. Just, who are you talking about? What do you mean? Do that. That's what is going to go down after today. Right? So you've been getting all the branches and you don't want to accept anything. You want to keep playing this game. You want to keep playing this goddamn game like you have some authority and people should listen to you. Um, you, want, um, you want that sister's name who was talking about the false ID that she got from the RV Bay site that got her car taken or whatever, right? That that individual that you're talking about that sent you email, right? That they have they have the stuff from RV Bay and it doesn't work. Tell them send the ship back so they can cut it up since it don't work. Tell them do that. Let's see if they give it up. Go back to them, email them back, and tell them, well, since their stuff isn't working, why don't you just cut the shit up and send it back? Instead of calling your dumb ass to complain to you about some stuff that you can't even answer because you don't study. Lord Abba, Way L, you don't study nothing. Right? You just glimpse stuff and call that studying. You ain't no studier. 
right? And as far as no response from RV Bay, shut the hell up, you goddamn liars. All you liars that's emailing Lord Abba complaining about how come you can't get in contact with RV Bay, you're a goddamn liar. How do I know that you're a liar? Because I get emails from Sister Anita all the time. I get emails from Raz all the time, back and forth. So you can't say that you're not in contact with them and they don't want to contact you. And it's not bias. But they're just returning my emails and nobody else's. Get the hell out of here. You guys are full of lies. And that's all they're about. Promoting all these lies. Getting people to accept the fact that, you know, getting people to accept the reality that they're a fraud, but people don't want to accept the reality that they're a fraud. They want to play Goddamn liar. On top of that, there's the Moorish Heritage and History School show every Tuesday at 9.30 that you can call into and you can ask any question you want. People call in there and tell them, hey, I've been trying to get a hold of you for a month or whatever and I haven't heard nothing. And they'll take the number down and call them and then those people stop calling. Why they stop calling? Because obviously they got a call. So stop the lies. Stop telling stories on people that they don't return emails and stuff like that. And, and again, anybody out there who's talking about, I got my nationality from RV Bay and I called and they're not whatever. You need to cut the stuff up and give it back. Because you're not serious about your birthrights. Because obviously you don't study. Because nowhere on that card does it say that that card came from RV Bay. Poo, you haven't even read the goddamn card that you got. That's how incompetent you people are. You didn't even read the card that you got, that you paid money for, fiat, whatever, you didn't even read the card. How we know you didn't read the card? Because you're calling this jackass, Lord Abba, talking about you got arrested for using false ID from the Taj site RV Bay. Just like the other one with the court. You know, well, call Taj because you got the card through them. You know where the card says you got through them. This is not this is not slavery. This is not slavery on this side. This is freedom on this side. Slavery is when the card says you belong to More Science Temple of America 13. You belong to More Science Temple of America or whatever. That's the slavery. Especially if that temple isn't dealing with any civics. If that temple's dealing with civics, it's a whole different situation when you get a nationality card from a temple that deals with civics and says you're a member of the Moore Science Temple of America with this card. That's totally different. If they don't deal with civics like Lord Allah's temple, and they're talking about divine stuff and religion stuff, and they give you a nationality card, that's slavery. If you don't want to accept that reality, hey, cool, that's on you. You're being told by an adept. That went through Arab Chamber. That's a grand sheik of a temple that exists right now. I'm telling you. But you don't want to hear that? Because, you know, man knows not by being told. Then go see if you can find out what we're telling you. And when you go out there, talk to all these other grand sheiks that's tight lip about stuff that we talk about, you're going to realize, oh, that's why he said whatever. That's why he's making reference to these things for me to go check them out and to study everything and not just take anything for face value. Certain things we tell people because if you, we don't tell you, you're not going to find out. Because there's a deliberate, there's a deliberate action going on to um, pitch active more as misrepresented and we don't know what we're talking about and you know what we're doing as sovereign citizen whatever right that's like idiots you know black power idiots saying that the law dictionary comes from the white man well the moors taught the white man sovereign citizen more 
Not really, because Moors don't teach that they're sovereign citizens. Ones that are active, they don't teach that we're sovereign citizens. Oh, once again, Canaan and Moors, fraud knows fraud best. We are not sovereign citizens. So they've been told that we're not that. And people are going to listen. People are going to like things that this person presents when he's a fraud. Like straight fraud. Another thing that he said on the front. Right? Let's get with the frauds, right? Why would the fraud tell you guys that Quran of Mecca when our authority, right? Our authority says. Quran of Muhammad. There it is right there. Quran of Muhammad. Where the hell is he getting Quran of Mecca from? What the hell is he talking about Quran of Mecca when Noble Ju Ali told the Moors in the one-on-one -on -one questionnaire, our authority in the back, Quran of Muhammad. Remember, you guys, he wanted the proof, right? So we'll show the proof that it's Quran of Muhammad. Go back and check the show. Did it yesterday. Right? How come this says Quran of Muhammad and he's talking about Quran of Mecca? Doesn't that isn't that apparent fraud? Isn't that callous disregard for what Noah Jawali taught? Isn't it? Oh but you know, again, people are incompetent. Only active morals. Honor stall the active morals because we know that you get down with the study. Honor stall the active morals who would 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 risk their utmost life to exercise their birthrights for the fact that they're morals. And they're not complaining about no jail time they might get or some whatever they might lose or their car they might not get back because birthright trumps all that stuff. Knowing that I'm a more, you could take everything that I got. At least I know my nationality and birthright. At least I know that. Nothing else matters if I know that. Go ask him. How come you say in Quran of Mecca? When is Quran of Muhammad, according to Noble Jawali? Oh, that's a good one. Too. This clown. This clown is talking about why is it that? We attach driving to excise tax, and then the dumb, incompetent, idiot, constitutionally psychopathic, inferiority, ADD, bastard boy, is going to come up and tell people what excise tax means out of the IRS freaking <laughs> dictionary, whatever. You tell me that this is not an agent? Yo, he's using the IRS definition of excise tax to justify why Taj is wrong in saying excise tax is tied to the driver's license. Let's see what law dictionary says. Well, we have fourth edition around here. We only with five. An inland imposition paid sometimes upon the consumption of the commodity and frequently upon the retail sale. An excise has been defined as meaning tribute, custom, tax, tollage, or assessment, a fixed absolute and direct charge laid on merchandise, products, or commodities without any regard to amount of property belonging to those on whom it may fall or to any supposed relation between money expended for a public object and a special benefit occasioned by those whom the charge is to be paid. An excise is an impost for a license to pursue certain callings or to deal in special commodities or to exercise particular franchises. Everything about the fraud of a, of a driver's license 
is in the definition of exile. Everything is in there. But he's not going to use that as a reference to prove the claim that he's making. He's going to go to the IRS, the Inquisition Revenue Services, meaning of words, to prove his claim. You tell me this is not a goddamn agent that you guys are following, talking about, right? Want to be friends with? Bring him into the whatever fold of something. And he's an agent working for the IRS. Now, that's the only reason you would use the IRS dictionary. You must be working for them, right? Talking the same thing, license. You know, why is it saying I'm driving? You should get a license. And don't be up there endorsing the DMV and Taj said get a license. He's saying that get a license because people are damn stupid. And they don't study. And they just hear something. You know, all caps on it. Oh, oh, yeah, there's all caps on this. I don't want this anymore. And then they're going to go jump in the car with goddamn plates on it that says you better have a license. Oh, but then she took the plates off. Oh, so then you took the plates off, right? And you threw the license away. And you tore up the ownership. And you're just out there traveling. You didn't put nobody on notice that you're going to be doing that. So you didn't put nobody on notice that you're exercising your right to travel, but you're going to cry about somebody stole your stuff. When you didn't put them on notice that you're going to be going out and exercising your right to travel in your brown, Buick, whatever, right? And letting them know. But you're going to blame your teacher. I'm going to blame the teacher. Who knows? No, oh, yeah, no, I got 48. You didn't want to give me two marks to get a 50. I wouldn't give a shit to you either. You me, why am I giving you two marks? I gave you eight to jump you from freaking 40. But you failed my class. But nah, they don't want to go humble themselves, go study. They don't want to blame stuff. All right, license, certificate, or the document itself which gives permission. Permission from who? Permission from the state. The state's a private corporation. What the hell are you talking about, man? Why are you telling people that they should get licenses when that has nothing to do with the republics? You're talking about private corporate jurisdiction. And again, the only reason that Taj said endorsed the DMV because people are stupid and they don't study. They want to be told what to do. Like Brother Tav said, this is the degree of fishing for, not the degree of fish sandwich. So if you want fish sandwich, stop eating fish. But the only fish sandwich you're eating is the ones that you go out there, put the hook in this fucking stuff, throw the line out, reel in something, you know, get the scales off, cut open, guts, you know, do whatever you gotta do, cut tail off, leave the tail on, keep the head, make soup, broth, or whatever like that, fry, but in order to get your sandwich, you're making it. You know sandwich makers out here making you your fish sandwich. For dumb people who are not gonna understand, right, you better study and know what the hell you're talking about if you're gonna talk about you're a more. Forget about right to travel and whatever. Just just the utter out of your mouth. I'm a more. You better know what the hell you're talking about because you're going to get challenged. And if you don't know what the hell you're talking about, shut the hell up. Say that you're on a more in your mind for a few months, a few years, or whatever like that. And don't try to go out there and try to be, you know, you studied five things. Now you know. Now don't get me wrong. There's people who spiritually, they're in line with this before the, mental, the mentality of this. So they can read something once and get it and go exercise it and, you know, it'll be in their favor because their spirit's in tune with it. Majority of people, they got almost calcified pineal glands or whatever like that. Their spirit energy is, you know, in their sacral chakra, right? They, even, they haven't even attempted to raise that energy up, you know? And they hear about more science and they get a spark. They get a eruption, you know, and think that oh, that was it, that wasn't it. 
humble, go study, get the hell off Facebook, listening to these crazy people on here confusing. But that's what they're doing. You know, that's why I go in there and I beat people up on there because it's Facebook. That ain't nothing. That's not no reality. Somebody on there talking something on there and they don't have any pictures of real life stuff that they're doing as far as activity is concerned. They're on their front. Not doing nothing. They're on couch potato or something like that. Saying they got some authority to have temples or say that they're more. Zero authority. Right? Which brings me to, again, with the authority. Right? He's out there giving honors to Kasadio. Right? This is boy. Okay? When Kasadio's own dad, Rasadio, you know, both of them are dirty more. Rasadio <coughs> tells people himself that his son is a manifestation of his lower self. But then remember, you know, Sadio was a pimp. And then, you know, Kasadio is, you know, one of the big pimps main whatever son right so when you hear Sadiel talk from the perspective of um you know we don't really deal with nationality you know we deal with the religious side and the divine side and they go on that angle of the divine whatever because you know the pimp's main whatever it wasn't the Asiatic. And you know, birthright sued the mother. So this is why Kasadi doesn't talk about certain stuff. Right? And then that's why Rasadi disses <laughs> right, his, uh, his seed, his cursed seed of Canaan that he doesn't want to accept as his. Right? So lots of dirt been going on around him. And you realize that you know, just like when you when you do the house and whatever stuff like that, you know, all the dust settles in a certain area. You know, you know, there's certain parts where dust doesn't catch, and then there's certain parts where why is there always dust in this area or whatever? All right, this is what we're dealing with: the dust that's in that little crack, and we gotta go through the crack and get this dust out. Right? We gotta go in the in in, the, in between the bricks and get the weeds out. We're not just gonna mow the lawn and that's it. You know, we have to go in the bricks and get out the weeds. Like the more said on, on, on the chat, it's a clown show. And everybody really taking the clown serious, like, you know, oh, yeah, you know, let's, oh, yeah, you know, let's give him a job. You know, yeah, he come with the big shoes and all that. Like, you know, come on, you know, we got a job for you. Pay you 50 million. The clown. Right? And last thing, let's try these jokers want to play. Oh yeah, back to the Milwaukee Moors. Just to, just to bring that back up again. So the Moors in Milwaukee, hunting or whatever, you know, a temple. We heard that there's temple in Milwaukee. So they go around, you know, trying to find this temple, right? To find some Moors or some temple or something like that. And they're building with these Moors, and then. Come to find out that the charter for Nobujuali's temple that was in Milwaukee is in some Shriner Lodge basement. And Morris know that it's there. Morris, that's been in Milwaukee. And they never went to get that. They never thought to go get it. Right, so what these Morris in Milwaukee are doing is that they're doing, they're taking the step to go get the stuff. Because, you know, that's out of their jurisdiction and how they get it right so that's one of the um that's one of the moorish science temple of america issues in milwaukee that the shriners have the charter for the temple that no majority has right and then that's no different than you know the more with the ranch that we told y'all about with the horses and stuff like that that nobody knows about. Just those more that live on that ranch with the horses. 
Um, no one's not going at them. But they're going to go at, you know, brothers like Todd, Nature, Sophia. Going at Sophia? I was sitting on his show, waiting for your ass to call him so I could smack you up on his show. And talking about you can't get to. Well, you can't get to. What are you talking about? From what I understand, Kane and Landmore's Ustream has like some thousands of whatever slots. So there isn't a way that people can't get on when it's time for showtime. Only time you have a hard time getting on is when it's 1 to 11 and, you know, the computer has to find the slot to slide you in. But if there's a lot of callers and it takes more than a minute to find the slot, to slide the caller in and there's a minute left in the show then obviously you ain't getting in because it didn't find the slot before the minute was up because it takes a minute 30 for it to find the slot because there's lots of people in the show so if you're waiting until 5 to, to if you're waiting until 7 15 or you know 7 25 to call into the British Bay show and say that you can't get in you're a goddamn liar you sat on your ass and listened to the show for a freaking hour and a half and then try to say that you didn't get out. Get the hell out of here. Right? So what we recognize is that Abba, Abba Lord, Lord Abba, Way L, whatever he calls himself today, whatever name he's gonna switch to, is is the manifestation of truth and falsehood strangely mixed in somebody's verbiage, in somebody's discourse, in somebody's class, lecture, demonstration. His stuff is when you hear the mention in the Moorish literature about truth and falsehood strangely mixed, relate that to this clown, way out, who is not a sheep. And remember, go ask him, who, you want names of who his grand sheep is and who his assistant grand sheep, governor, whatever jurisdiction that he was in that appointed him a sheep. Okay? And don't forget, you got to get at Brother Jabbar because he wants to know what's up with you starting the Moorish American Party when the Moorish Science Temple of America is the Moorish American Party. He, he needs to build with you on that because, you know, he said you should know better or something like that. So, he obviously didn't talk to you. But you're not going to talk about that stuff on your show. Oh, yeah. Another thing. America was never Morocco or al Morocco, right? Africa was never a Maxim. There's no way, right? What's the what's the quote again? Um, Produce your evidence. You got some evidence for you. Question 30, 31. What is the modern name of the Moabites, Moroccans? Question 32. Where is the Moroccan Empire? Northwest Amexum. This is Nobu Juali talking now. Where is the Moroccan Empire? Northwest Amexum. What is the modern name for Amexum? Africa. Now, everybody that studies knows for a fact for a fact that the jurisdiction of North America is known as Maghreb. Al Aqsa. Morocco, the farthest west, is the translation. And if you want to go to somebody who speaks Arabic and ask them, if America is known as Maghreb and see what they tell you because certain information you know in the teachings of Tachrik Bay he's not even gonna give you that because it's not out there like that that this land is called Morocco is a secret and more active Moors were the ones that put that information back on the burner that this is Morocco America is not where we are. America's two continents and an isthmus and 
island. And it's Africa, because it was one landmass. We already know that. So for him to talk about, you know, the teachings of Taj Street Bay and Al Maroc isn't America, when that has nothing to do with the teachings of, Al, of Taj Street Bay. That has to do with the fact that if you study, you learn. If you don't study, you don't learn. You sound stupid when you talk to people who study. And when you get pointed out on your stupidness, you should humble yourself, stupid boy, and go study. Stop trying to prove that you have some authority. You have no authority around here. Which brings us to the last point before we close this out. Because like we said, there ain't nothing to refute. There ain't nothing to, to, to you know what I mean? There's not no competition. We're not dealing with competition. We're dealing with freedom. Those people are dealing with slave trade. And we're just letting you know that, you know, people deal with slave trade. All these machines that we show you, all these people calling in, sending in emails, talking about nationality card doesn't work. How come we got all these receipts that we can show you that we use nationality card and get taxes off? Anywhere. Go to Milwaukee, did it. Go to Cincinnati, did it. Doing it here. But nah, nationality card is fake from the RV Bay. It's not from RV Bay. It's from the Moorish Nation. RV Bay just printing them because they have a printer to print the card. It's a nationality card. We've RV Bay is a, a, a nation now, all of a sudden. I highly doubt that RV Bay is a nation. Highly. And I highly doubt that, you know, the people are ready for this. I don't think the people are ready for this. That's why Taj could say endorse DMV because these people are tripping. Because there's more who study, right, that have been exercising right to travel 15 20 years no problem no getting stopped no pullover no car getting taken whatever why 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 could they do that because they studied and there's a way that stuff could could work if you study you learn if you don't study you become like these clowns and all these idiots you know emailing him because they can't get a hold of rv day publication why don't you call into the damn Moorish Heritage and History School show on Tuesdays at 9.30? And be there early. Don't pull the, you know, 10 to ten to 11 and, and stuff like that, calling in when show starts 9.30. Right? It's like you rush to go do whatever else that y'all do, dirty, you know? Come to learn some civics with, with, open mind and you know just as fast as you want to do your dirty stuff okay how do we know that this more is unqualified and remember it's all about the evidence right he'll tell you about a sister that he knew right that had this connection on grants and she can get a million dollars for the Morris Science Temple of America right That's when he was in Georgia he talked about it it's not no secret okay and he put the sister onto a moor. And the moor was telling the sister, yo, you got issues if we're doing this grant and you're putting this guy's name on it. Because you're going to have problems. Why? Why is that or whatever? Because he's not no authority of nobody. This guy doesn't have any authority. He's just a guy out there. Right? What this guy do? told more, told people that this more that told the sister the truth about his illegitimacy, that he's dirty and he's spoiled or whatever because, you know, he could have did this one and then because he didn't do that, now, you know, the nation can't get nothing and the temple's going to suffer or whatever like that. When reality is, if that more, Lord Abba, was as sincere as he said he is, Right? If he was really down for the profit, it wouldn't matter whose name was on the fucking million dollars. You would have given it to any temple just because you're down with the temple and the movement. If you got a link like that, 
for a sister to put through a grant and know yo, it's going through. You don't worry. You know what I mean? All we need to do is put it in the name of the temple. And then he's illegitimate. He's illegitimate in that position. And instead of taking the opportunity, a million dollar grant, instead of taking the opportunity and saying, okay, we can do this. Let's see, okay, there's 15 temples right here and we scratch off the list. Okay, now we're not going to go with these guys. Now we're not going to do that. Even if you did some dirty people, even if you connected with Saudi El and said, you gave him the fiat, at least we could say, okay, well, at least the brother, you know what I mean, gave it to somebody, but cancel the grant so nobody can get it just because you couldn't be on it. That's agent stuff right there. That's agent. So y'all can tell your boy, Way L. Lord Abba, that ain't no more olive branch going around, right? Kujo's done. He could put up whatever he wants after this, talk whatever, just like all the other fakers that were putting on blast the past three, four weeks. When we're done, that's it. Whatever goes on after that, you know, you ask for it, you might get some. And if you get it, you only got it because you asked for it. So I say, Islam to all the Moors, stay true. Stay true to what Noble Juali told you openly. Study, study, study. And that if you lose faith in the Prophet, take off all your stuff, cut up your card and all that, and go back to being niggers and stay out of this right here. Don't don't involve yourself in this if you're not about and and don't think that it's not about unity. Right? We put it on the record. Jabbar gains ill. We said put his name on the record. Jabbar gains ill sat down with Lord Allah. Sat down with all types of more. Right? Me even. I've been telling Jabbar, forget that nigger. Nah, that's your brother, you know what I mean? You got to give him a chance. Pfft. Yo, Lord Abba, get that nigger. Well, you know what I mean? He's our brother and you know what I mean? I'm talking to him right now and you know, he wants to do the call. I'm like, what are you doing call for? We don't need you to mediate nothing between us. If you got an issue, give him my number, tell him to call me. Never call, but talk crap about, you know, you want to be on three-way. So, you know, be on three-way for what? You're not babies, you know, three-way. Not some, you know, brother linking up his brethren with a, with a sister that he knows. He needs to be on three-way to set it up and shit like that. Get the hell out of here. <coughs> so, Mars, know that there's dirty Mars out there. And their job, their duty, their position as dirty mores, right? Don't worry about Kujo swearing and all that stuff. That's not dirty compared to stuff, stuff that these mores done, been doing, and will continue to do. And what's the job? Mislead people. Why? Because the more active mores start talking, the less important these bastards start becoming. And the less important they start being recognized as. Because when people realize that this is their birthright and these frauds who've been telling them naturalize and who've been telling them that they're the more science temple when they don't even have a charter, the people would realize that these guys are frauds. Right? And what, we, what, do, what, do, what happens to the frauds? The frog go into exile. But the egg the exile is you not letting them in to your aura. That's the exile. You not letting them into your space with their corrupt whatever it is that they have. Right? That's 
the destroying the, the, the confusion that we see in the temple. The confusion that we see in the temple are individuals who are leadership that drop the ball. The confusion that we see in the more science temple is not only right the confusion that we see in the more science temple is not only the leadership but the people that those dirty people at the top teach remember the brother said that he you know he gave honors to Kasadiel. And that and Kasadiel is the lower self manifestation of Rasadiel. And if you know who Rasadiel is, <laughs> and he's the lower self manifestation, and this guy's gonna give that guy honors, it shows you all know these guys are willing to go. That's why we call them niggers, because they're not even worthy of being called dirty more. We're gonna end on that. Islam.